I really like what's being done so that folks don't game the system and developers like me can share our skills in a fair way. One of the things I've always wanted was a better way to prepare for an interview. And I'm excited to share that we're introducing a set of mock interviews, practice tracks, and certifications to help you get the job you love. Now, I'm gonna show you a couple of things to prepare for the interview. A mock interview for system design. System design is a very important part of the interview process as it measures your ability to scale a system in a reliable and secure way. Normally, I would try to find a system design expert, pay them a couple of hundred dollars, ask them to conduct the interview, and hope that they give me some good feedback. But that's a lot of work and really expensive. But what if, with AI, it could be made better? Introducing our AI interviewer for system design, let me show you how it works. So I'm going to start the interview, and I get to choose between a voice mode and a chat mode. I'm going to choose a voice. I'm able to configure my microphone and speaker settings, and just like that, I'm ready to practice the interview. Hey there, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing good, thanks for asking. What brings you here? I have an interview I wanna prepare for. Got it, I'm here to help you. Do you want to begin? Sure, let's go. Awesome, let's get started. Here is the interview question. We will be doing system design for a URL shortener today. Let's start by discussing the functional and non-functional requirements of the system. Sure. So I'm used to doing these interviews with some sort of whiteboard, so I'm going to turn on light mode. OK, that's so much better. Let's jump in. Um, functional requirements for a URL shortener. Um, should be able to shorten the URL. Duh. <laughs> um, the shortened URL should redirect to the original. We should be able to bring custom aliases so we can personalize the URL. And it should be able to handle expired links. What do you think? These look good. Now let's move to the next part. What do you think are some non-functional requirements? Hmm. Um, could I get a bit more context on how the URL shortener will be used? Great question. The URL shortener will be used as a part of the appointment scheduling application. Mm. Okay, so since this is going to be used as a part of a kind of appointment scheduling application, it should be able to be super fast, almost real time. Um, there should be minimum downtime and it should be able to handle a high volume of requests. What do you think? You have done a great job outlining the non-functional requirements. Let's move ahead and discuss the API design of the system. Okay. <laughs> So you probably don't want to see me going through a 45 minute system design interview. I'm going to stop the interview right here so you can get a sense of how the feedback gets generated. The interviewer is going to take into account our conversation as well as the other inputs I've added and generate a report that I could begin to dig into. Okay. Um, I didn't do too hot, <laughs> but I like how the interviewer highlights areas I did a little good in, such as communication and technical design, and I definitely could use more work in fault tolerance. I also like how the interviewer gives me ideas on how I can improve on fault, fault tolerance. Pretty cool, right? So every developer in our community receives a credit for a mock interview. And if you love it, which I know you will, you can purchase more credits and take more mock interviews. But we're not stopping there. Emily, tell them what else is happening. 
In addition to making this available to candidates, we're also making our AI interviewer available to companies like yours. If you'd like to learn more, visit this URL. Great job, Travel. Thanks.